Uh, in this problem, we are asked to graph uh, this polynomial function degree 4. I factor out x to the third. I get 3x plus 4 because I need to find the x-intercepts. Um, and then I have three solutions, x to the x equals 0, because I have, a, I have to have a total of 4, and one solution, negative 4 over 3. The domain is all your numbers for a polynomial function. I put um, negative 4 thirds in the table, and I also put 0. So the function is 0, and the function is 0 at these two values. This is a, a, a reminder. This is a slow cross, because the solution is a triple solution. Then I found um, the limits at infinity and negative infinity. Uh, since uh, from these two terms, this is the most powerful one, then when x approaches infinity or negative infinity, the function will approach infinity in both cases. That's what I wrote here. Now the first derivative, bring down 4 multiplied by 3, so subtract 1 from the power, plus bring down 4 multiplied by 4, subtract 1 from the power. Immediately factor out 12x squared, x plus 1. When I said this equal to 0, I have two solutions x equals 0 and one solution x equals negative 1. I have to determine f of negative 1. I put them in the table. At 0 is negative 1. I, uh, at negative 1 is 0. I have to write 0 in the table. At 0 is 0. I have to write 0 in the table for f prime. Then I have to study the sign of the derivative. So if in this expression or better this expression you realize that everything here is positive and the sign is given by x plus 1. If you replace x by any value to the left of negative 1, the sign of the derivative will be negative. If you replace x by anything to the right of negative 1, the sign will be positive. Notice that there is a sign change here, which makes this a relative minimum or local minimum, but there is no sign change here. This cannot be a local max or relative max or relative min. I move on to the second derivative. Uh, multiply 36, so 36 plus 24x, of course, immediately factor out 12x, have 3x plus 2. It's um, quadratic, I have to have two solutions, when x is 0, and when x is negative 2 over 3. I have to find f of negative 2 thirds, and it's approximately negative 0.6. So um, at um, negative 2 thirds is 0, and at 0 is 0. And these will be inflection points. 0 comma 0 is an inflection point. Negative 2 thirds comma negative 16 over 27 is an inflection point. Look what happens there. The, derivative, the second derivative is 0, and it changes sign. So now the graph. I plot negative 4 thirds 0. I plot negative 1, negative 1. I plot negative 2 thirds, negative 0.6, and I plot 0, 0, which is a so, show, uh, slow cross. The function is opening up, coming from, negative inf from positive infinity down to the x-intercept, further down to the local or relative minimum. Goes through um, negative 4 thirds, 0, uh, comes down to um, negative 1, negative 1, increases, until negative 2 thirds, negative 16 over 27, this point. And that is an inflection point. Now the function changes concavity, opening down, but still increasing to the origin. Opening down, still increasing to the origin, where it has another inflection point, changes concavity, it's always increasing towards infinity and always opening up. And that's the graph. If we want to uh, determine the range, which I should have asked about, so the range is between negative 1 and infinity. Negative 1, infinity. Uh, problem 80. So the same situation here, but much easier because it's a quadratic function. We know how to graph quadratic functions. We don't need all this, but it's a specific example for using calculus uh, principles. The function is um, um, continuous. It's, it's uh, defined on all real numbers between negative infinity and infinity. It's a polynomial function. Um, so um, I have to find what happens at 0. And at 0, it's 20.44 when you plug in 0 here. I find its first derivative to be 
negative point zero a uh, positive sorry positive point zero five x minus point seventy one. I set this equal to zero, and I get 0.71 over 0.05, which is 14.2, and the first derivative is zero. It changes sign. Why? Because if I plug in zero, I get a negative number. If I plug in anything to the right, it's a positive number. So the function must be decreasing between negative infinity and 14.2 and increasing between 14.2 and infinity. Okay, the second derivative, it's a constant. It's always positive, 0.05. So the function always opens upward. Um, I have to plug in 14.2 to determine this, which is definitely a local minimum or relative minimum. Same thing, decreasing all the time till this point and then increasing. So when I plugged it in, I got uh, f of 14.2 is 15.399. Also, I determined the limit, the same thing, nothing counts. When we talk about infinity, just the most powerful one. So it's uh, from positive infinity to positive infinity. And I graph the function. I know that there is, this is the vertex, and it also has an axis of symmetry. And finally, we are given um, a function to determine its maximum and uh, on the interval 0 to 20. Um, and I found a derivative. 20 times 2, 40r minus 3r squared. And when I set it equal to 0, I have it's a quadratic function. You don't have to uh, set this equal to 0. It's a constant, a positive constant. So either r is 0 or r is 40 divided by 3. And of course, this is in millimeters. It's right here. That's not sufficient. I have to show that this gives a, ma a maximum. So um, I on 0 to 20, that's the domain of the function given to us. Um, at 0, uh, the first derivative is 0. At four, 40 over 3 is 0 as well. When I study the sign, uh, if you plug in 0 here, uh, you should plug in 1. 1, 0 doesn't, it's 0. So if you plug in 1, a 40 minus 3 is a positive number. If we uh, plug in uh, 20, it will be a negative number. So the function is increasing and then decreasing. And that gives us, uh, proves that 40 divided by 3 millimeters uh, for the windpipe uh, is, gives definitely a maximum velocity. Thank you.